This is a teardown of a Cisco ASA 5505 series adaptive security appliance. And there's all the information for those wondering. This does require an external power supply, which I don't have. And it's also basically worthless on eBay. So <laughs> the uh, fate is scrapping it, basically. I think without the power supply, it's worth like $20, $25. Figure $15 in shipping, $3 in fees. It's just not worth the headache, especially when someone's probably gonna buy it and return it. So, we get to see what's inside instead. And apparently, my nice screwdriver is missing in action. I have no clue where it ran off to. So, we're using different stuff today. Side. Looks like there's some more screws to get though on the side of the housing, so we're gonna knock those out real quick. I am surprised this does have a uh, dim slot for memory, which is kind of cool. Just the uh, front support plate with all the uh, light pipes. What do we have here? 256 megabyte PC3200U DDR memory. Nothing special. It does have a CF card in it, which we'll be salvaging to sell. So that'll be a nice bonus. Makes it worth a little bit more than scrap. Although we'll see what the capacity is. Based on the part number, it looks like 128 meg. Not much to see there, just metal housing. Oh, let's see what the CF card is. Yep, 128 meg. Cisco branded. Whoops. Let's see if I can get this heat sinks off. I may have to do some prying. thermal adhesive pads. I don't know if this smaller one's going to come off in one piece. I'm probably going to take the chip with it if I'm not careful. There we go. Alright, let's see if this thermal adhesive pad will uh, peel off nicely. Usually they do. Usually they do. It's like fragmenting into little bits and pieces. This is interesting. Um, I mean, I could tell it was metallic, but it's almost like it's a uh, stamped piece or a sheet of aluminum. I was gonna say piece, but yeah, it's like sheet aluminum, like aluminum foil that was stamped, and then they put an adhesive on it for thermal transfer purposes but it's not coming off uh, nice like some of the other stuff usually some of the other stuff I've dealt with it's more um, like it's encased in the adhesive versus just having some adhesive on it so we won't be getting that off looks like it has an AMD geode processor camera won't focus I think it's too dusty get a little zoom there we go uh, CS5536AC, and forgive the shaking, my boom arm is not doing me any favors. I'm trying a new setup. I think that's a Marvell network controller chip. Some ST flash storage. Another, I don't know if that's Marvell or not, I guess. 
This has to be the oops, network controller chip though, and being so close to the ports. Bunch of power regulation stuff here. This does have support for an expansion card of some sort. Here's the bottom, mostly passives. I feel like it's out of focus. Let's go with 3x. <laughs> yeah, every time I touch the camera, it shakes the boom arm. <laughs> Let's switch it upside down. Oop. Cavium Networks, familiar chip. See a lot of their stuff on firewalls, it seems. But, uh, yeah, I guess that's uh, all there is to see there. Hopefully, that was interesting, and thanks for watching.